Okay, hallelujah. So we go. That should be good. We were able to get some wine. Hallelujah. And so today was very important, very awesome with the Psalms. For the Psalms read um to praise. So I'm gonna praise him here after this Shabbat and and I uh, was very thankful for actually the first Sabbath, so we have a special little occasion there. We got all the gold candles and uh well, the purity color of the pilgrimage up of love. And uh, I'm gonna read this really quick. There's several things that was really impacted by the scriptures this this time around, which was Mark fifteen and sixteen and Luke one. And I just wanted to bless this bread of life here. Hallelujah. So we can close the Shabbat and have a great week. And I want to start with now at the feast. He would they at the feast he was accustomed to release Pilate was one of the prisoners to them whom they requested. And there was one named Barabbas who was chained with his fellow insurrectionists. They had committed murder in the insurrection. Even even the bad people they would accept over the good. That's what this is saying. This is what's coming towards us, to us. Coming towards the good. And there was one in Barabbas who was chained. The multitude crying out loud began to ask him to do just as he had always done for them. But Pilate re answered them saying, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Hebrews, Yahushua? For he knew that the chief priests had handed him over because of envy. So even in this walk, I feel there's just a lot of a lot of envy today, and they're not even the high priest or chief priest or nothing like this. But there's a lot of that even to this day, today, even to this name, and with government and everything, where government acts like the Messiah is not part of the state, which they um, they say it, but they don't. So it's a huge confusion. Nation in Babylon has been standing out a lot this Sabbath, and we say. Um, for he knew that the chief priest had handed him over Kazimbi, but the chief priest stirred up the crowd that that they should rather release Barabbas to them. And Pilate answered and said to them again, What what then do you want me to do to him whom you call the king of the Hebrews? So they cried again, Crucify him. Then Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? And they cried out more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wanting to gratify the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and he delivered Yahushua after he had scourged him to be crucified. And the next, afterwards he appeared to the eleven as they sat around the table and he rebuked their unbelief, hardness and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had been risen. So they're not going to believe you. They're not going to, people don't believe in this. Even those that love you, they walk with you. It gets really lonely and I know the Father has been separating me, holiness. And uh, it's really lonely, and uh, even by those who love you, and uh, they have hard hardness of heart, and uh, we just experience through all that. So I deliver that up to him. We pay for the sick and those who who believe in the end. They have that belief in the very end, where they don't have a heart and and believe in his risen that he who had seen him when he had risen. It's a good thing. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach unto reach the Basora, the good news to every creature. He who believes is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow you. Will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, and they will take up serpents. Serpents and if they drink anything deadly it will be by no means hurt them they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover so then after the the messiah had spoken to them he was received up into heaven and sat at the right hand of yahuwah and they went out and preached everywhere the messiah working with them and confirming the word through accompanying signs amen 
So there's many signs that I'm happy for. Many signs that I've seen they see heal. And I pray for salvation for the father of my friend here, for the anniversaries, for the football player, the Bills, Lamar, uh, for Jerry Cowway, for Benedict out in the Philippines as well. And all these, everyone I've left out, uh, people that are sick, that um, all our health and all the little animals out there that go through things and harsh treatment. Uh, I pray for Mr. Pinado. I pray for Matilda, um, those widows. Uh, I pray for many. And all this to them, may the body always be remembered. And the last one I'd like to close it with is the prophecy of Zechariah, the father of Yohanan, the Immersion, the last prophet, and we were the powers of Elijah. As a Messiah was almost like an Enoch. So now his father Zechariah was filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, and prophesied, saying, Blessed is Yahuwah, Father Yahuwah of Yasharel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, King David. As he spoke by the mouth of his own prophets, who have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. To grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, and you, and you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the face of Yahuwah to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of Yahuwah, with which he, which with the day spring from on high, has visited us. To give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. So the child grew and became strong in the spirit and was in the desert till the day of his manifestation to Yajajah. So hallelujah. Blessed to this. This is for the bread. We break the bread with Yah. This is Yahuwah, King of the Enoch, who brings food from the earth and the body of the true Mashiach. This is Yahuwah, who brings the fruit of the vine. Hallelujah, the body and blood of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Thank you to my friends. Again, it's Mark 15 and 16 and Luke 1. And again, um, the songs are special. It's about praising Him. So we're going to sing praises afterwards. Just a phone is how I record these things. And I'm using it for this right now. Hallelujah, Shu with two all blessed week to everybody. Amen. Thank you. And Enoch. Again, it's about the winds, about the earth. What he saw when he was lifted up. It was amazing. Um it's very, very powerful. Enoch thirty four and thirty five now in this Sabbath. To continue the artwork, may the Ruach HaKadosh continue flow through me. As holier as I get, the more lonely it gets. May it be so, but may you be with me. I felt the mother here, so my mother is Mary, Mother Mary as well. You know, it's not just Catholic, this thing is, is biblical. And uh, I love her, and I always remember her, and today I felt a sense of, of a mother from her. And it was beautiful. I'd like to... Uh, tell that to you everyone there and thank you father for everything bless you hallelujah to the new jerusalem we will in blessings from the show fire to the corners of the earth everywhere i've been on the name of yahuwah and yahushua hamashiach and the full moon thank you for the time that you tell us father and shabbatov blessed week to everybody as we do the closing prayers Hallelujah. And he is the light that was given after the darkness. And may it be to you always and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Because I'm using Jerusalem. Going to a little pattern around. Amen. Hallelujah. 